good afternoon guys it's a 4 49 pm today is august 14 2023 it's a monday and there was no news today right and we had no bias today uh, it is a levels game today globex high globex low are important and so does friday's closing es is rotating around higher time frame levels since last week so we cannot assume anything price can go either way to keep it simple assume about 24 hour mid buyers are there becoming more active or active and below sellers are active prefer sellers prefer buyers levels are important they can be a target entry exit point in and in and out fast is the best strategy to protect profit for the either side you know and 92 and 72 are dream numbers the dream numbers are very powerful when the bias has, bias is like this no bias dream number helps out anyway any other day they help out but especially when bias when we have no bias you know it's better to keep an eye on trade numbers because they are the ones who can give us a signal you know so uh, now also another thing uh, the friday you know august 11th i did not post it the end of the video because uh, it was a second year uh, moving you know for my daughter to college you know so we were shifting the apartment so friday i was busy there and saturday and sunday i was out of town so i couldn't do the videos so now it's hard for me to go back and do the video because i usually follow the price action you know and then do the trading accordingly friday since i didn't do a lot of trading you know so it's better not to do the video anyway the day was choppy so just wanted to let you know okay now so you remember right so about 24 hour mid buyers will be active below sellers will be active okay same thing here correct now price open around where here right it's basically far away from this area so in a way sellers are active but if you look at this it was straight down move right so even though they are active doesn't mean price will go down right it may go up up to this level then it may come down right so from here to here you can play long you know and then bail out here or call it a day off right remember in and out so you got one trade here then you're out right or you can trail stop it and then you can write this also right these were the targets blue back size right and this for years i specifically said that now in discord right around 9 15 or 9 20 when we started the discord the first thing i said is this area is so powerful at least one time yes will go there you know so while we are watching this price action in the morning right i, I said they do not short right just observe it observe 70 72 77 right i also give a reason why price was holding around this 77 or 78 okay so we were watching this while nq was moving higher right so nq i said two things so if you look at it prefer buyers area important so price bounce from it right that's the first thing now dream number 73 92 you can see it first time dream number held it here price went through it before open of the open it touched here touched the dream number acted as a resistance then it went through it here i said it will go to 91 and 105 and then price we did we go there then i said now it has to hold 73 which it did here right then it goes higher now it's a decision time 24 over mid in both of them you know so but in that process it broke through so remember i also said friday's closing is important this is a friday's closing line so it pulled back and it held for a couple of minutes above this area right here at this area so that was a long the moment it breaks out or you take a long here and you hold it for a globex high because that was the next target same thing here you, know, you either call it a day off here right or here and, and all your tail stop stop below this and you hold it to the globex high or if you call it a day off here and if you still want to trade it this is the level you know either but this is risky business here you know less price moves like this and if you're monitoring in the lower time frame 15 second 30 second chart right then you can pick up this long with the flow otherwise it can do fill breakout too this area is important you know so only way to hold it is trail stopping 
previous positions you know initiating a new position here is risky business okay but once price went through this you know and went all the way up to blue bags high that's where you officially call it a day off for longs okay now i said at this time i said also in discord by 10:30 i was done trading right actually i did not take any trade here because my ninja was uh, giving me a hard time it was lagging so i reinstalled the remove ninja and reinstall ninja trader trade session was also in the same boat so i was busy during this time you know after like 9:45 to this price action you know so then i said you know we're done with the voice and then here i said call it a day off right by the time my ninja was up and i didn't get to trade this any of this move in the morning all the way up to here there is no no trading for me so after 11:15 you know like here you know, i started you know trading actually but in this code i said wait till 130 to trade you know, or trade after 130 by the time you there is no breakdown in 5 minute then you can trade long you know so but after 11:15 since i didn't get a chance to trade it you know i was watching this price action okay so since this is a call it a day of level right uh, i was watching this area and this code i also typed it that 225 and 91 in es 97 in es to observe when es was here you know so any nq was at 225 right? so i was observing it then price came down right and then it pulled back so i took a short right at 225 right here you know or 221 here uh, same time i took a short in es also at 97 you know around this time you know around 1136 or so uh, because that's the level i put it in this code you know as a r for sellers to watch, for buyers to watch you know so because i was looking for a pullback in the noon right so if, if i was looking for a pullback price has to pull back somewhere right and the the good level is the first hour high which is around 89 in es and q is around one this area you know 176 or so okay so i was looking for that move for this short okay and but this one did not work out it stopped me out okay so but i didn't take a long you know the idea was i was looking for that move so i was observing it observing it then here you know so es made a new high and q failed to make a new high you know so then i took a shot again same level in both of them and this time my target was 192 which is this and this 176 so both got filled right so whatever i lost here i covered more than that like five times then that and here then i said if the first hour i is holding and price goes higher let's say higher right and then it pull back here it was right here at that time i said if it holds 201 in nq and es 91 you know so around this time was 1256 right so 1256 was where was right around here this time i said if es holds 91 you know then an nq holds 201 you know actually it was here not here actually was it here yeah it was here then it will go higher you know so i'll show you all this actually here this is better so this one this was the short i was talking about right so which is right here this short right then it went higher stop me out Right. Then I did again another short right here, and then this time I keep shorting it. So I am showing you one trade here, right? But on the way down, I was shorting it. Every up candle I was shorting pretty much. So I started with like four contracts, then I added more, added more, added here, added here, you know. So I was up to like seven or eight contracts. and then my target was fixed here see first touch and it out right because it was predetermined target 196 and here it you know like few points above first hour high right then so 70% position 80% was out remaining like one or two contract i was holding 
and then here I get stopped out for those contracts. The moment it stopped me out, I knew because I put that stop loss right at where the inflection point is, you know, where there is there could be a switch from sellers to buy. So if the moment it stopped me out, I watch this price action, right? Then I took a loss. So these two contracts which were you know which I got stopped out, right? So basically I missed this move. I lost this many points indirectly. Even though I was profitable overall, but I lost this many points because of my stop loss, right? Till stopping. So I recovered those two points, those that those loss point by taking long right from here. And when I build out here, another one higher up, you know. That way I recovered this loss. So you know. <coughs> so that's this trade, you know, this trade right there. Okay. Uh, and that was my trade, right? Now here, there was a long here also. This long, I did not put it in Discord because I was not watching the price after this long, right? But if you, so here, so let me go back here, right? So, so here we were observing in the morning, the 70, 72 area. So the way here, if you look at very carefully, in the morning around 9.34 and 9.39, you know, 38. ES made a slight new low at 938, you know, like poke below 70. 70 was important area from Friday. And then NQ, if at the time, did not make a new low. See that here? That was a divergence, okay? Now, it was holding 73, so you cannot go long here because NQ was weak. You know, it was able to go below, lower, and ES was not. So ES was strong, NQ was weak. Then NQ went through this area. See, that's where the longs comes into the picture in NQ, not in ES yet. Then NQ went higher. See, these were the long opportunities on the way up. You know, but you have to really be smart enough to pull the trigger right above this high. You know, and by knowing ES is also going higher. Okay, at that time. Now to 77 basically. You know, then when NQ pull back. That this is where I said 73 is important, you know, and ES 70, 72. So at this time, if you look at it, 948, ES was making a new low. But I said watch 5 minute candle, you know, I didn't say watch 1 minute. I also said watch 1 minute and 5 minute, you know, by the way. So we were watching 5 minute and 1 minute candle. You know. If you look at it, 1 minute did not close below this. And 5 minute went down but close higher right then the next five minute candle started going higher the moment it went above 72 that's where you take a long you know with the flow if you want otherwise you wait for a pullback you know but here since nq held 73 right this was a long setup here too otherwise let's say you wait then price went higher 78 right then it pulled back to the intraday v wave and mid which is also 72 level around 958 right so 958 if you look at nq it pulled back right at this closing see that it was one two three four five attempts now this is two minute chart if you look at one minute 15 second you will see a big balance there and it's holding right that's where you take a look right here in both of them now you target globex high or any of this line you know and that's it you know? that's how you grab this one right now what about this one then right how do you grab this one so this one now you know here right a short opportunity also there right now because price was exhausted to the target right so this was a short but let's say you don't play short because the day's direction is up so far right so let's say you ignore short now you know you need to know at least where shorts are going right so in this code I said they are most likely it will go to first hour high so first hour high was here right so when you see price coming down here right in both of them actually this was also first hour high and this was yesterday's high line so this was a first hour high right there right and this was yesterday's high this was yesterday's high Friday's high actually and this was first hour high right so technically when price went above both they are both are support so now I said most likely first hour high. So first hour high when price came there, right? Now you start watching 190 because now technically price 
is failed to hold a bow yesterday's high friday's high in both of them right so now you are watching this so and but at the same time you are seeing this is a support which price bounce from it so now either this sellers or this buyer somebody is going to decide if price is holding above both that means buyers are back in the business right or below both sellers are there so now you look at it here up went up again went down again then thing held it and now it went higher like this right like this so at this point you know since price went higher now it's above both buyers are not letting go these two levels right sellers are trapped here this area can turn into buying area that's where i said watch 201 and 97 in years that's where my stop loss was on initially so here you can go long right there you know in both of them see both of them pull back to the t 201 97 you go long back to this stop and you bail out simple then you don't have to trade you know but let's say you want to trade it right then you watch here see again price came down to this area right again now you can see both parties are active here so you wait right then you what do you see then you see this broke out about this chop pull back fine it can go down too right it could be a fail breakout too who knows right then you see what one two three it's holding huge candle boom you go long right there either here either here same thing here see this line like there right so and there was old naked dream number by the way these two lines so now you can see your naked dream numbers are also powerful you know so and that's pretty much it now how far you can hold i have no clue you know but this was the trade profit taking is not my area that you have to decide you know but that was a long setup here you know and in the entire process it was rising you know throughout since morning right so those are the trades you know for today now tomorrow i have no clue you know uh, i'm not going to keep any bias i know buyers held it here right so and about this area buyers have a control now you know so in nq about this area buyers have a control for tomorrow you know? so basically about 200 they have a control technically you know from today's price action and es has a control about this area so we'll see how it goes you know i know there will be a seller sitting at the top which is around here so we'll see you know uh, and here probably so we'll see how it goes in the overnight today you know and then we may have a clue for tomorrow's direction and that'll be all for today